you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Or so sang Kenny Rogers. There have been several crossroads in my life where I simply held on to the cards too long. Jobs, people, philosophies. I just couldn't figure out how to toss in the hand and leave. Well, interestingly enough, today there are at least three folks in my network that are going through similar ordeals. When I finally figured out how to respond to these forks in the road many years ago, I identified two distinct underlying reasons I was stuck in situations that didn't work for me. The first I call the try harder syndrome. The given situation wasn't working, so obviously I wasn't trying, working, pushing, focusing, committing hard enough. And it was against my know or judge or rules to quit on anything. I just wouldn't have made a very good gambler. Operating exclusively from my rules of life, my knower judger, I was blind to the data that the consequences of these reactions were drowning me. Physical issues, sleep issues, money issues, relationship issues. But don't quit. For God's sakes, don't quit. You can do it. Any chance this sounds familiar? My dad had several simple life philosophies. And one I liked most was, if you beat your head against the rock wall long enough, pretty soon your head takes the shape of the rock wall. The second foundation of the not moving on problem is the comfort zone. I see the comfort zone as a passive version of the try harder syndrome. It doesn't require much change in behavior, no harder work or commitment, no beating myself up. I just sit in the middle of my situation convincing myself I'm just not that uncomfortable, which of course is the very definition of a comfort zone. It's amazing how much crap I can absorb and still convince myself, and probably you, that I'm just fine. The issue for me has been developing the clarity to see how far off target I am and tying it back to the behaviors and rules that just aren't working for me anymore. Struggle? I can hold them and not make enough income and don't rock the boat. I can fold them and try something new and end this sense of being bogged down. Now, at times in my life, I developed the clarity to see I wasn't living my best life. I found myself questioning and ultimately overruling the no or judge rules I was working under. I folded them. If I'd never developed the clarity to see that staying in was costing me, I'd have never folded them. And nothing would have changed. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.